John Holman, Mount Union. They call him Big John, and Big John Holman had some big ideas during his time at Mount Union. As a Division III head coach in the sports-rich state of Ohio, Holman needed to attract top athletes to his non-scholarship program, then bring out the best in them once they arrived on campus. He did that by incorporating a revolutionary training program, utilizing speed and force to build muscle power. That, plus great coaching, resulted in a total of 54 Ohio Athletic Conference titles combined in cross country, indoor track, and outdoor track during Holman's 33 years at the helm of the program. Individually, Mount Union athletes also claimed an astounding 503 OAC championships and 42 national titles under his tutelage. He turned Mount Union into one of the most respected programs in the nation. Tonight, we salute John Holman and welcome him to the Hall of Fame. All right, I was looking at every picture, Big John. Did you ever smile when you were a coach? Um, I try not to, but a lot of times I have to. It yeah, seemed it to work. a lot of fun and uh, had a lot of great people to work with. Obviously, great people because if it wasn't for them, I sure wouldn't be here because I didn't score many points. <laughs> but uh, I. I I think I have fun. Yeah. Well, you were smiling inside, obviously. Right. Yeah. Hey, I, uh, I read in your bio that you were at one time a North American arm wrestling champion. Is that true? Well, he said I was a one-time national arm wrestling championship. He finally made a mistake. It was two times. Oh. Um, I, were those back-to-back or? or? Uh, no, there was a few years betw be between. Okay. I always enjoyed, just like a lot of you people would. I always enjoyed competition, and uh, I, I enjoyed lifting weights and strength stuff, and I was watching a, a competition one day and, um, in Athol, Massachusetts. It was a little town in Massachusetts, and I was watching an arm wrestling championship, and my, I said, geez, I could do that stuff. <laughs> my father said then, Stop talking about it and go and do it. So I, I did a lot of training and it was, it was a lot of fun. John, this is not the Hall of Fame induction ceremony for the Arm Wrestling Hall of Fame, so we're going to transition right. quickly. Um, 1978, you arrive on campus and you know you just come off of your, your service and we thank you for that. Uh, what was it about coaching that drew you? to the profession first and then to have such a long career at one institution? Well, of course, I was in the service and I, I was a, a, a medic in Vietnam and uh, as my family knows, um, I didn't know that much about coaching. Um, I started at a small school, not a small school, it was a, a school in Fall River, Massachusetts. I enjoyed it, it was four years. And then I thought that I would go to uh, maybe get my master's degree, and I went to the University of Nebraska, and I was fortunate enough, and when I mean fortunate, this is really something, this was a life-turning thing for me. I had a chance to work at Nebraska Wesleyan. There was a coach there by the name of Woody Greeno who provided me, an, and just like all of us, you know, all these great honors, um, we had to have some opportunity, and he gave me the opportunity to work with great, some great athletes. And I did that for two years. And probably my biggest regret going to Nebraska Wesleyan, and I'm sure that we all probably feel this way towards certain people, is that I never sat down. I never said to Raleigh, uh, to Woody Greeno, I really appreciate you giving me the opportunity to work with these people. This was really a life-changing thing for me because then I, I left Nebraska Wesleyan and I went to Mount Union College and I was there for 32 years. 
And you built quite a program there. I, I read the stat that uh, the OAC awarded 93 team titles across the three sports during your tenure there, and your teams won 54. You never scored a point. I, I can say that accurately. I, I, I can't remember scoring any points. I might have when I was younger, but I, I can't remember. But, um, when, but when we spoke this morning, and I think one of your points of pride was that you really focused on building a team. You were trying to get scores across all the event groups and you felt like that was one of your keys. I think that that's a good point for a lot of coaches too. Um, I, I, I did throw the, the weights at the University of Massachusetts, but I, I wanted to more than just have weight men. I wanted all around teams. I thought that that was really important. I know that we won some conference championships with scoring every single event in, in, at the meet. And I know that I, take a, I took a lot of pride in that. I think my athletes took a lot of pride in that. And uh, I always wanted well-balanced teams, as you know, everybody else wants to, but uh, it, it, you have to, it's, it's hard work, and we all know that. I, I think still resonating with me what Victor said early on about you know, the role of, of developing both the best that a student can be as an athlete, but also the best human being that they can be. And you have a role in a lot of those, uh, in those lives over the course of your time there. I assume in the midst of your recognition tonight, you've heard from some of those folks, many of whom you probably haven't spoken to in a long time. Is that part of the enjoyment of, of this moment tonight is to have kind of re-engaged with a lot of those folks? Well, this is obviously a, a, a great honor for everybody, not just me, but everyone. And um, I, I had a chance to see probably about 30, 30 athletes that have worked with me, that have bought into the program. I saw them improve a lot. Um, athletics is important, there's no question about it, but you know, for four years of college athletics, that's r real important, but it's real important to see you graduate and to be successful. I mean, we've got doctors here and we've got lawyers and, and businessmen and teachers, coaches, a lot of good, a lot of great coaches here. Um, and, you know, that's really important to me. And, uh, and I, that, that, that's why we're doing this. Yeah. John, who would you like to, to thank tonight on this, on this occasion? Excuse me? Who would you like to thank tonight on this occasion? Well, number one, of course, is my wife. It's Kathy. a good place to start. That's a great start. Yeah. You know, we've, we've been married for 50 years. Somebody that can put up with me for 50 years is pretty special. And I, 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 really, I really appreciate that. She, she's been a big fan. She supported you guys, you athletes, real well. Um, she's been very important to me. Obviously, she's uh, very special to me. And then, of course, my sister and my family, uh, my mother and father, I know, would be here if they were still alive because they would be so proud. But my sister is kind of representing the whole family. But uh, it, it's, it's, been, it's been very, very special. Yeah. Well, it's just nice to see you smile. I mean, I think that... Right. <laughs> I was a little intimidated after. She's like, is this guy going to be nice? But yeah, yeah. You, you're great. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the two-time North American arm wrestling champion and Hall of Famer yeah. in college track and field, <laughs> John Homan. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Great, Paul. Thanks, John. Congratulations. Thank you.